Good afternoon. Happy Friday to Denison community. As you can probably tell, I am back in my office. I've been able to come in now for almost a couple of weeks, getting a little more steady. And honestly, that has felt so good to come back and be in a little bit more of a routine. Uh, we've had a few teachers and employees in and out to do some work and helping. So definitely feeling like a little more sense of normalcy. It's really hard to believe that we're finishing up this unique learning experience that began mid-March. Um, there've been emotional ups and downs, academic successes and struggles, but most importantly, um, I just wanna say thank you for the support and encouragement that you as a community have continued to offer and exhibit. Uh, the Denison staff has been absolutely amazing. They rose to a challenge within a few days notice and uh, continue to hone their skills. Uh, and you think about this is an area that very few had even tackled before. So definitely learning on the fly, as many people say, we are building the plane while we're flying it, knowing that is not the safest model, uh, but that's really what this amounted to. Uh, please continue to refer to our website over the next few weeks for updates and actually into the summer we will be posting things as well. Um, remember to look at our final learning schedule. Next week, uh, Monday is catch-up planning day and then Tuesday is medication pickup just for those families that have been notified that you have medications here. Tuesday, Wednesday will both be uh, final to remote learning, catching up, Teachers will be um, posting lessons and interacting Friday, or Thursday and Friday. We are all off. Uh, Thursday, the staff will be meeting for a virtual retreat. No students and then um, no students or staff on that Friday. We come back for that final week and uh, you did get a pickup drop off schedule from me. I'm going to be adjusting that a little bit due to some um, new ways that I've looked at that. So stay tuned for the actual details. The days and the times will not change. And so uh, look for that communication next week. Uh, PTA wanted to pass on due to the coronavirus, Life Touch is um, way behind in printing and delivering yearbooks. Those will be coming probably in the next four weeks. So again, we will publish how to get those if you want them um, before school is done, we're not gonna be able to do that, but I will be here along with a few people into mid-June so we can make arrangements for you to pick up the Life Touch books. Sixth graders and families, this has been such a unique but sad time in some ways. Stay tuned for invites to some virtual events and visits. I know it's difficult not to have closure, especially those of you that have been here um, from kindergarten on because nothing seems normal at this point. Once we're allowed back in some capacity, we'll be getting in touch with you how to come back and celebrate. I wanna let you know on a couple staffing situations. So Mr. Ted Lavelle has announced his retirement. I know um, he is going to be missed. I just honor and celebrate him for his commitment to Denison for the many years. I've enjoyed getting to know him. He's one of the most kind and caring teachers um, I've had the privilege to work with. And that has really been his legacy that he leaves us with. I'd love for you to start sending uh, retirement cards into the school address. We are getting mail at this point and we can use it as a card shower to really honor Mr. Laval. Again, figuring out a way to bring him back in the fall to celebrate. A few shifting staffing positions. Miss Kate Badeline, who's been in third grade, will be moving to third grade to take Mr. Laval's place. Mr. Monroe is gonna be shifting to fifth grade team, and Jen Barron, who's been in fifth, will switch to sixth grade. And then Morgan Stewart, who was previously a student teacher with Miss Lorenzen in second grade, is going to be joining us for full day kindergarten. Continue to stay tuned for updates. Uh, I know Governor Polis had a meeting today or a news, uh, yeah, newscast. Um, I haven't had a chance to listen to yet, but it's just that representation. There's constantly a change to our landscape. There's questions and rumors running um, about about next year, what will that look like? The budgets, how can we structure schools? 
you're going to be asked for feedback from our district. Um, so please take time to share your thoughts via these surveys, emails uh, to Governor Polis, to Dr. Glass and our school board. And I also continue um, to encourage you to reach out to me. Many of you send me very thoughtful ideas that we can continue to put into play in terms of our learning from this experience and what we will do going forward. We look back on basically two months at this point. We've learned together. We've cried together. Actually, we've laughed at many things that we would have never been able to predict could happen in this environment. Uh, and I can say that we're stronger in many ways. We're stronger and we're hopeful. Enjoy the weekend. To all of you mothers, mother figures, um, guardians, have a restful Mother's Day weekend. I just celebrate all of you that are raising children in any capacity and then being layered with everything you've been asked to do. So from the bottom of my heart saying thank you, you are all amazing and your kids have been hanging in there. I am so proud of the entire Denison community. Stay tuned for updates next week. I wanted to get online and be able to say, have a great weekend. I miss all of you. The staff misses you and can't wait to get people back into our building um, for the hustle and bustle that we're used to. Have a good weekend.